everybody. Um, today we're going to be doing something we haven't done in a while. It's a Goodwill haul. All right, so let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and along with my wife Angelique, um, we're resellers on Poshmark. Um, so our closet's called the Deegans. Link to it will be below, um, as I am one to always say. One to always say. That, was a, that was a weird way to put that sentence. Anyway, like I was saying, for the first time in a long time, we um, braved the uh, we braved the weather and went out for a uh, Goodwill haul. I say brave the weather, but it's actually starting to warm up a little bit because spring is coming. At least when I'm filming this. When it comes out, it's probably spring. But enough rambling, let's look at some clothes. All right, up first we have a J. Jill Small, and this is a tank top. Um, nice shade of purple. Um, so I think We've had one, only one other J. Jill item, and it sold pretty quickly, so this should sell pretty quickly once we list it. All right, up next we have a, what is this? We have a confusing t shirt. Uh, this is a, um, G? Um, G. This is a medium, and it's a shirt with no shoulders. It's a t-shirt without shoulders. <laughs> so, um, yeah, definitely something, uh, definitely something I'm glad we have the mannequin for because these shirts that don't have shoulders on them, the sleeves kind of just flop around. It, it, they don't look good if you don't have the, uh, the mannequin to really shape them. So, happy about having a mannequin for that one. All right, up next we have um, a Zara. Uh, this is a W, Zara WB, so um, it's a US small. Uh, so there we go. And uh, you see it's a little bit see-through, but it does have some flowers um, that are opaque uh, and a butterfly, a couple of butterflies actually. Um, but no, um, we've like I think a couple of videos ago I noted we've we've been finding a lot of or, well we've been getting a lot of Zara lately so um, and it's a, it's a really good brand I don't know that we've um, had it in our closet long enough to really determine if it's gonna sell really well for us or not but um, should be good um, all right up next we have a recycled Karma. And this is a, um, it's a motivational t-shirt, I would say, um, although it does have the, uh, the back, kind of the cutout back with the one piece of fabric um, holding together. Um, so I guess it breathes well. Uh, but it just says infinite possibility, infinite possibility, infinite possibility. So I guess you wear this shirt and then you achieve your infinite possibility, infinite possibility, infinite possibility. And that is the last time I'm going to say infinite possibility. No, that is the last time. Uh, let's just keep going through clothes. I should not make jokes. Okay, up next we have a Keith Cole reaction. Um... And this is a swimsuit top, and here's the bottom. Uh, so that was um, that's a good find. Um, this I actually already have shot, um, and I first I shot the top and didn't realize I, we had the bottom, um, and so then I had to shoot it again with the top and the bottom, uh, and it's a little bit. It was a little bit. Um, you know, it's strapless, so it kind of didn't really fit on the mannequin. I had to kind of tape it. Um, I used tape on the insides just to hold everything in place. Uh, but 
<coughs> oh boy. It um it's a it was a fun it's a fun piece. And it looked really nice on the mannequin, so that should do well, especially if uh with summer coming up, spring coming up, summer and people getting out to pools. Alright, up next we have a Pata Patagana. And this is a tank top with a little slot in the back, um, as you can see. <laughs> I keep forgetting where my camera is. I have my monitor here so I can see what I'm actually filming, but my camera's over here. <laughs> so a lot of times I a lot of times when I watch these videos back, I wonder what am I looking at? Okay. All right. Up next, we have a. Is this a? Was this a? This is a. Guess I think this would be considered a cami, although I'm not sure with the way that uh. With this front part, if that makes it a cami or not, I don't know what all the definitions mean. But anyway, this is a jams world, and it is a medium. And it's a very bright, uh, festive, kind of Easter color, so maybe it'll do well. Um, I mean, that holiday is coming up, so we probably should make sure to get that listed right away. Um, yeah, because it has kind of the pinks and the yellows and the greens. All right. Up next, we have a... We have a cabby, extra small, um, and it's a tank top. Now it says it's an extra small. I don't know if cabby uses um, vanity sizes because this does seem a little bit bigger than an extra small, and it wasn't, and it really went on the mannequin well. So I think that is a vanity size, but um, don't don't quote me on that. In fact, don't take my word for it. Um, ask for measurements. We are always happy whenever we um, whenever we put something on our color. We're always happy to give measurements. Um, so, as all as all resellers should be. Um, okay, up next we have a Lily Pulitzer, and this is a. Um, a uh, this is a, it's kind of a beachy teal pink color. Um, really, really fun summer shirt. Um, definitely something you could wear to the beach um, or out and about. Um, no, no buttons, no, nothing, nothing on it to really cause any kind of discomfort. Um, so, really just a nice shirt to relax in. Okay. We continue. We have a lounge or logo, logo lounge. Um, it is a medium, and it's kind of it's kind of a tie dye. Um, not really a tie dye. I don't know um, what exactly you would call it, but it's a shirt with some um, little bit of like frill on the bottom, and it does have the two working pockets. Uh, so it. I mean, the, just the positioning of the pocket kind of made me think of like maybe a set of nurse's scrubs, but it's definitely not a nurse's scrub because it's not like, I don't know any nurse's scrubs that have frill at the bottom and don't button up or anything. But I don't know. <clears throat> I do not know what I am talking about. <laughs> okay, let's keep this video from getting too cringy. Um, up next, we're getting into the... Uh, yeah, well, we'll just do the tops in this video. Uh, so this is a Catherine Rowley, Rowley. Um, it is a tank top, um, and this piece did throw me for a loop because it's has all these, um, it has all these beads and right along the um, neck there. And it's a lot, it was a lot heavier. Um, I, so just going through, um, you know, we didn't get these from the bins, so not that that really matters. Um, 
this is from a dollar day haul um, so I believe this was a dollar or maybe it was 50% off um, we've already removed the tags and shot most of these um, so I'm not really sure I'd have to look it up but yeah we did check um, in the store to make sure that all the beads were there and they all appeared to be there so that's definitely something you have to look for with these pieces that have the um, with these pieces that have the um, any kind of beads or any sequins on them. Normally it's something I try to avoid, but if it has all of the pieces, then it's definitely something to pick up. And for the last piece we're going to look at, um, we have a Torrid size 1, and this is a... It's a... It's a top... Um, I was thinking about this um, when I was, um, we, I did already shoot this. Uh, I thought this piece was very, um, very Power Girl-esque. Um, so if you don't know who Power Girl is, she's uh, Superman's cousin from an alternate universe. Um, comics are weird, people. Uh, but it has this opening um, in the front and that's just kind of the signature that's kind of the main thing about her costume is it has that opening so I don't I don't watch uh, the CW Supergirl so I don't know if they uh, ever did anything with that um, or not did watch the flash for the first two seasons then I kind of got busy with having kids okay um, so that's that's our haul. Um, little going back into um, doing a haul as opposed to doing thread up boxes. Uh, I can say that everything in there I like. Everything in there I think is going to sell, and um, most of the stuff I know was a dollar. So however many pieces that was, um, just that many dollars. That's how much we paid for it, probably. Um, I think there was a few pieces that we did get um, at just fifty percent off and not the dollar day price. But I can't remember. Anyway, um, next time we'll be looking at the um, pants from the haul. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five pairs of pants. Maybe six. Anyway, that'll be next time. So I'll see you then. Bye.